Today I'm going to show you how I easily fill in my brows for a natural finish. Let's just start off with a little bit of basic eyebrow shaping. It looks more complicated than it is. The start point, you just want to use the dimple of your nose. For the end, use your nose again and the edge of your eye. And then for your arch, you can use your nose through your iris, or you can use the edge of your iris when you're looking straight on in a mirror. Use this as a general guide and let's get started. I always start by applying moisturizer all over my face, including the brow area to make sure that my skin is evenly moisturized. Moisturizer actually gives your product something to hold on to, so it's a very important step, no matter what makeup you're applying. I then apply a sheer layer of foundation or concealer, and I actually blend this over the brow area. This is to make sure that the area underneath the brows is the same color as my skin tone, particularly if my foundation is slightly darker than my skin tone. So I like to start off by just brushing foundation in this general area using a very small amount and buffing this in. For the perfect eyebrow products, I like to just mix up some gel with an eyeshadow. And I mix the two of them up onto a palette, and I simply mix up the right eyeshadow color to work with my hair at that time, whether I need to go darker or lighter. Taking a little bit of the mixture on a spoolie, clear mascara wand, I then just brush this through my brows to kind of create the shape that I want to form, usually brushing upwards and outwards. Taking our mixture onto an angled brush, I like to very slightly glide and wipe this down onto the palette to make sure my brush is nice and sharp. And I do this regularly throughout the application. It gives you a lot more control over the actual brush itself. To find the starting point of my application, I look straight on in the mirror and I create an imaginary line using the edge of my iris. So I start here and blend outwards. And all I do is use a little bit of that product working in the direction of the hairs that are naturally there, using feather-like strokes as I work along. And I focus on filling in this area with the most concentration of color. I want it to be getting deeper and darker as I work towards the edge. For the inner portion of the brows, I do things a little differently. I use very light strokes working in the direction of the hair growth, using less product this time and not being as dark. And I really only do a few little hairs as I work along, making sure they follow the natural hair pattern underneath. I then turn the brush slightly on its side, and I use this to catch and coat any of the natural hairs that are there. This will just slightly tint them with the gel. Use a very light hand when you're working on this intersection. You should still be able to see a little bit of the skin showing through. And then finish by combing through the brows. If your gel has set, which can happen, make sure not to overwork the brows as you may ruin the shape that you've created. Finish off with your regular foundation, concealer, whatever you want to use, but just be a little bit more careful when working around the brows. And when using powder, make sure your brows have set, otherwise the gel will hold onto it. And there you go, that is how I simply fill in my eyebrows. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, check out the other videos on the screen, and hit that subscribe button if you're new. You've been watching The Makeup Chair, and I'll see you in the next one.